Hello everyone, welcome back to my African lifestyle and if it's your first time here, you are so so welcome. So today we are in Adagbame, oh my god. Yeah, and we are going to be doing a lot of cooking. Yeah, we are doing African village cooking today. Guess what we are making here? We are making akume, we will make soja, like there is a lot we are going to be making together. And uh, I just want to take you guys along. Just look at the big fire, the fireplace. Oh my God, like it's so hot, it's so hot, it's so hot. And uh, I'm cooking with other women. Um, right here, this is tofu or soya beans cheese. Yeah, we are making cheese and it will be fried like later. So right here, we are just cooking everything. And uh, you know, before you fry the soya beans cheese, you have to dry it. So it already coagulated and we are scooping everything and putting in this bag right here this bag you guys are seeing and after this process we would just tie it to dry i could not really film the the everything because like the video will be super super long okay so i'll just briefly explain to everyone how this soya beans cheese is made um it's just regular soya beans soaked in water for about two three hours after soaking it you just drain it and take it to the grinding mill but if it's very small you can use your blender you blend it after blending it you just squeeze out the milk you know squeeze out the milk from the soya beans and uh, yeah that's it you just go ahead and boil the milk and add in any um acid like vinegar or lemon and uh, it will coagulate you guys can see how it coagulated and uh, from there you can just scoop out everything you can see they are scooping it out into a bag yeah but you can use any cheese cloth to uh, to to squeeze out the whey because um to get the dry cheese out you need to squeeze out the whey that's what they are doing right there everybody everybody here in togo likes soya beans cheese like it's one of their favorite and you know sometimes i wonder why people in cameroon don't eat tofu or soya beans cheese like it's so delicious so while our soya beans cheese is drying up we are preparing um a pot for akpang akpang is like fermented fufu F fermented fufu from corn like you soak corn and you take it to the grinding mill you grind it so after grinding you squeeze out the, the milk i will call it the milk <laughs> You squeeze out the milk from the corn and uh, you will not go ahead and cook it to make it coagulate. No, you leave it for some time to for the starch to settle and you can like pour the water, you know, you can just separate it directly. You don't have to cook to separate it. so you just go ahead and heat up uh, some water and it when it boils you can see right there it's boiling then you can go ahead and add in um the cornstarch yeah that's what she's doing right there she's adding in the cornstarch and you just go ahead and stir on until everything thickens and is good to go
So right here, um, this is the outcome of our soya beans cheese. You all can see after squeezing everything is dry and ready to be fried. You can cut it into whatever shape you want. And uh, this is the, this is what they are doing right here. And after cutting everything, you deep fry it and it's so delicious. Finally, our fufu is done as well and we are scooping it out. You guys can see they are tying it in like plastics. You can use plantain leaves or banana leaves to tie it as well and you can store this for as long as you want. And uh, yeah, thank you all for watching. I really, really appreciate you all. We had a feast after this and uh, yeah, it was really amazing. Yeah, I like it. I like it. I like it. I like it.